Hello everyone, my name is Zijing Yang. I'm a PhD student at Friedrich Alexander University Erlangen Nuremberg in the Department of Computer Science 15 Machine Intelligence. The talk I'm presenting today is Neural Networks with Fixed Binary Random Projections Improve Accuracy in Classifying Noisy Data. The first question is, what number is this? As a human being, we can easily distinguish that these two images are the same number, number 6. The left hand side is a clear image and on the right hand side is an, the same image with additive Gaussian noise. If we train the network using the clear images on the left and test them on the noisy images on the right, the network would perform very bad. But this is easy for us humans. Why is that? A good way to start is to see in the fruit fly. The olfactory system of the fruit fly can distinguish odors. The research team Dasgupta et al. has discovered a neural algorithm from the fruit fly's olfactory circuit, as presented in Science 2017. Odor informations are first experienced by 50 odoran receptor neurons of the fruit fly brain. Then, these 50 odoran receptors are further propagated to 50 projection neurons. After that, information from these projection neurons are randomly selected and projected to 2,000 canyon cells, which is a 40-fold expansion. After that, those 5% of the most activated neurons in these canyon cells remain activating and the other 95% of the neurons are inhibited, which is not activating anymore. In this way, if we experience similar odors, just like on the right hand side, first two columns, they are similar odors and at the end they would have similar activations. And if we look at the second column and the third column, they are completely different odors and they would have completely different informations at these 2000 canyon cells after the winner take all procedure. The first step is the normalization step. It centers the mean of the information such that the fruit fly would not mix up the information of intensity and categories. The second step is the random projection step. The fruit fly take some percentage of the projection neurons randomly and project them to one of the canyon cells. For example, we have 50 projection neurons here and we randomly select 20 of them and then sum them up as a value for one of the canyon cells. So here in this place, the weights here between the, the left layer and the right layer is binary which means it is either 0 or 1. This seems to be a very interesting approach because uh, right, now, right now there are no parameters trained. The first step, just normalization. Second step, weights are binary and tags are generated by that to distinguish different odors. In order to incorporate this random projections into our image classification task, we did the following. Given the input, input image, of size 32 times 32, we randomly crop some patches of size 10 times 10. Then we randomly drop 90% of the pixel values from these patches and sum them up into one value. Just like the random projections, select some of the uh, some of the projection neurons and project them into the canyon cells. And at last, we need to do this winner-take-all procedure, which just take some percentage of the most activated neurons and set the others to zero. To combine them together, we end up with this fully connected network as a basic network for MNIST. First, given an image, then randomly select some patches and randomly drop pixels from these patches and sum them up into one of the random projections and sum them up into one of the neurons here. Then on this, on this column, we see we have, let's say, 1,000 neurons here. 
different intensities. Different colors means different intensities, and we drop, and we only um, let some percentage of the most activated neurons to remain activating, and the other percentage of the neurons set to zero. Then we have a new representation of the image here without any trainable parameters. Then we fully connect them to the readout layer and perform classification. We call the percentage of the remaining neurons hash length. For example, we have if we are having 20% hash length, that means the 20% of the most activating neurons are remain activating and in other 80% of the neurons are zero. Now, the x-axis is the hash length from 0% to 100% and the y-axis is the accuracy. And we can see that the orange dot here on the top right indicates the accuracy of a normal three-layer fully connected network, which means we directly propagate the pixel values from the image to the hidden layer and from the hidden layer to the output layer. All the parameters here between the input and the hidden, the hidden and the output are trained. The red, uh, the green dot here is, is the two-layer reference, which is directly project the information from the input layer to the output layer, and all the parameters in between are trained. And our blue curve here has only trainable parameters between the hidden layer and the output layer. And the parameters between the input layer and the hidden layer are, random, are fixed, randomly generated binary, either 0 or 1. The best accuracy we achieve here is at hash length 24 with the accuracy of 94.9. It's, it's almost as good as a three-layer reference and significantly better than a two-layer reference. Which means, even if we randomly select packages, randomly drop pixels, and no, no parameter are learned between the input layer and the hidden layer, we still can achieve almost as the same accuracy as the three-layer reference where all the parameters are trained. And now let's come back to the first question with noisy images. So here on the left-hand side, we have three images. First is the number six, and the second is also number six. And the third one, even if it is very hard to distinguish, but we somehow know that this is also the number six. Now let's see the performance of a normal fully connected network. And zero noise intensity, we have um, around 95% of accuracy. Then if we increase the noise level into 20 here, which is the second image, we have around 50% of accuracy. If we further increase the noise intensity to 50, we have now around 12% of accuracy, which is just guessing, random guessing. But if we now look at our binary random projection models, at zero noise intensity, it is slightly worse than a normal network, but if we look at the intensity, noise intensity 20, it still has around 93% of accuracy, where a normal network has only around 50% of accuracy, and even if 50 noise intensity, our random projection network can have above 40% of accuracy, where a normal network is just randomly guessing. In this graph, we can easily see that even if we have, even if we select the patches randomly, the weights are random, and it's just zero and one, and we have less parameters to train, the network still perform as good as a normal network in clear images and significantly better than in noisy images. In this way, our artificial neural network is one step closer to our biological neural networks. Here are the references that I use in my talk and thank you very much for your listening.